Hello everybody <coughs> And welcome to a new video for the channel I'm Cross Legends and today we're going to be reacting to The version 2.4 Farewell Penacony Special program Monkai Star Rail I uh, I have a bit of a flu At the moment So my voice is just, um, Not great right now Um, but I still want to do this reaction, so that's what we're gonna do. I don't speak that much during reactions anyway, so it shouldn't be that much of a problem. But either way, let's get started. I still have to check the audio level, so yeah. <laughs> okay, let, let me see the audio levels. Good evening, City of Dreams. All eyes are on the Pentagoni Repechage, which is now in its fourth round. Ways of remaining competitors are still vying for their shot of victory. Okay, let's go back now. Okay, let's get started. All eyes are on the Pentagoni Repechage, which is now in its fourth round. Ways of remaining competitors are still vying for their shot of victory. Leaving aside Duke Inferno's fiery demise, the family would like to reassure everyone that no contestants have come to harm. <laughs> That's still the case, right? <clears throat> With the crisis dispelled, only flowers, glory, and rapturous applause await. <laughs> Not to mention a pool party. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Acheron. <laughs> D didn't we all agree to the swimsuit dress code? <laughs> ha! That's... Well... Not a swimsuit. <laughs> hmm. Is that what we agreed? Dad, but you... Me. Albert, can I borrow you? <laughs> uh, Madam Jade! So, what brings you here? <laughs> The corporation is planning to increase the special program budget. Here, it's all in the agreement. <laughs> thank you, Miss Jade. And thank you, RPC. <laughs> Where do I sign? Pleasure doing business. Huh. <laughs> uh, Miss Firefly, hey, hey, can you do the transformation thingy? You know what I'm talking about. Ah, now's the perfect time. Okay, it's just there's a lot of people around. No problem. Uh, is it <laughs> Does she actually get embarrassed about the fact that she? Well, I mean, I don't think we 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 can even get the chance to see her be um, well naked before the transformation. So I don't know why she will be worried about that. If anything goes wrong, just blame your good buddy Albert. Mm, in that case, check out the newest upgrade. I upgrade. shall set the seas ablaze. Okay. Let's see the, the, the uh, I wanna I wanna I wanna see to me. Wait, wait. Hiding is much easier than well, I wanna see I wanna see the the henshin device. I shall set the sea <laughs> okay. Let's see this. To me, hiding is much easier than being honest. Yet I still want to try expressing my emotions as any ordinary person would. Forgotten someone, my grey haired friend? I put a bomb on this ship. You have ten minutes to find it. Better hurry. 
Wait, this looks more like a character demo than a update demo. Maybe not. Let's keep going. I shall set the seas ablaze. Always remember, don't leave with any regrets. So now, do you understand what you- Okay, now it looks more like a, uh, update demo, patch demo, well, yeah. Must give up, Miss Sam. Yeah, I have like zero interest in Jade. As distant as it may be, I'm more than capable of keeping you on a tight leash. There's no backing out now. For me? Isn't over yet. It's been a while, little Yelena. I propose a toast. Since you care so much, Let's speed up the countdown to the future of Pinnacle and the universe. Can I interpret this as the next phase of the simulated universe? Correction. Oh. It's a new subject matter that Dr. Ratio and I have personally agreed on. Well, I guess they took they took um and the the, the whole how do you call it? Maybe they took the criticism of the uh, the the, the Patch demos be, uh, uh, being too spoilery, and now there's no spoilers in this one. Or at least, yeah, this this just looked more like a. <clears throat> no, I, I don't know. I guess I could make some guesses, but yeah, I don't know. Okay. Not your world has a day uh, let me put this part at 1.5 speed. Good afternoon and good evening. I'm Albert, your friendliest feather announcer. Welcome to the version 2.3 Farewell Pentacony special program. For today's program, we have with us a Galaxy Ranger as well as a Stellaron Hunter. Not to mention a director of the IPC Strategic Investment Department, Madam Jade. <laughs> That's me. Thank you for the invite. It's a pleasure to be here for the version 2.3 special program. You can call me Acheron. So, what exactly is this newest upgrade you were all talking about? <laughs> I just showed everyone! Hi, Trailblazers! Firefly here! Welcome! Welcome! Now, before we go any further, we agreed to a pool party! How come I'm the only one that showed up in a swimsuit? <laughs> <laughs> what swimsuit, Albert? You're always naked. I think. But yeah, that's a bit disappointing, <laughs> I guess. We thought you were joking. After all, this show never previously had pool party levels of funding. Don't worry, Albert. <laughs> Madam Jade's investment is on the way. Next time for sure. Anyway, take a look around, you guys. We're coming to you live from the skies of Pentacony in none other than the Radiant Belt Spa Airship. Quite a luxurious setting. Wait. In None other than the Radiant Belt Spa Airship! Quite a luxurious setting. What's the occasion? Oh, no occasion needed, Miss Acheron. I just want to give everyone a taste of Pentacone's history. <laughs> Over to you, Madam Jade. <laughs> oh. One amber era ago, Odie Alfalfa, the Pentacone Alfalfa family head, invested a large sum in constructing the Radiant Felt Spa Airship. Aside from the opulent parlor, ballroom, and recreation facilities, one could simply relax at the poolside with a few glasses of Soul Glad. <laughs> this oh. grand airship has sailed above Pentacone's Sea of Dreams for an entire Amber Era, suspending services only recently in the wake of the crisis. The Trailblazers have yet to claim responsibility for this matter. In case you weren't aware, the Radiant Feld Spa never opens to the public, 
Only the family's most esteemed guests are invited to take in such breathtaking aerial views of Pinacone. You mean to say that, after three whole versions, the Trailblazers might finally be able to take a vacation? <laughs> Let's not get oh. ourselves. The Trailblazer's recent battle against the Order caused great disturbance at Panacone. Correct. The Charmony Festival was forced to terminate. One can well imagine the damage to public opinion. The family's reputation must be built anew, and the public must be reassured. There are many delicate issues which urgently need addressing. Aside from the Oak family, the major lineages are preparing their responses to help deal with the aftermath. In the version 2.3 Trailblaze mission, the Express crew will be invited aboard the Radiant Feldspar as witnesses to important family oh. discussions. But if the factors that disrupted the dreamscape have been resolved, what other assistance is required? Uh, mm. The order stepped all over the harp. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I had a freeze there. It happens uh, very so often with my laptop. But yeah, let's continue. Ready, Sarf? You can't deal with stuff like that out in the open. This is required. The, mm, the order stepped all over the harmony, Sarf. You can't deal with stuff like that out in the open. The family came up with an idea. Fix the Radiant Feldspar as the Charmony Festival's location while simultaneously announcing the reopening of the airship. A Makes sense. Rattle Dazzle can fool the IPC. During the Grand Theater final battle, a Venturine may have been digging up dirt on the family in Dreamflux Reef. I'll need to take care of a few things during my visit to Penacony. Huh? Is the IPC about to make a claim on Penacony? Never say never! Mm. For the gosh dang IPC! Oh, for the Ammon Lord, baby! <laughs> Reading between the lines, it seems like these discussions concern the future of Penacony. They do! What a quick pressure! Anyone remember a certain mass fool issuing mutually assured destruction buttons to the residents of Panacone? I yeah. remember. Sparkle sent out gifts in each one of the past three versions. Surely she... <laughs> Would pushing the button really cause Panacone to explode? I have my doubts. Well then I guess uh, the, 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 the trailer was actually spoilery. It's only one way to find out. Whoa, 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 everyone take a deep breath, okay? <laughs> you guys are spending too much time with a certain blonde haired director. Earn up on the bill if you blow the radio bell spot! <gasps> Let's leave these mysteries for the trailers to explore again. Huh? It's time we got back to the Charming Festival, baby. Who might the honor guest be? I hear you ask. <sighs> Just when they're about to get interesting, Albert hands things over to the Trailblazers again. Family business is family business, and we've got a show to do. Even if the next young lady needs no introduction. Okay, normal speed now. a member of the Stellaron Hunters and hails from Glamoth, a world that was destroyed long ago. Glamoth? 
The same Glamoth from the Firmament Frontline Glamoth Relic Set? I remember the planar ornament description had a story about Glamoth's Iron Cavalry Regiment. Yes! Glamoth was once a rich and powerful empire with a vast territory. After the swarm invaded, well, everything was feet. destroyed. Oh, wait, no, no. Resisting the swarm called for the creation of Glamoth's Iron Cavalry. They were genetically modified soldiers, weapons that existed only to wage war. They piloted mechs to contain the swarm. I met many of those heroes and bade farewell to many. Hmm. <laughs> what stood out to me is that Sam's full name is actually Firefly Type 4 Strategic Assault Mech. Meaning that out there, between the distant celestial bodies, there could be other Sams. <laughs> Ooh, imagine that. Good thinking, Madam J. Perhaps the answer oh. to that question lies in Firefly's myriad celestia and animated short. <laughs> oh, Count me nice. In. I was wondering, is it really you talking when Sam says something, Firefly? Mm -hmm. I actually spend a lot of time practicing my Sam lines. Let me <laughs> Silver Wolf came up with a line. <laughs> so she's actually, actually so chuny. <laughs> lines. Blade came up with the movements and Wait. Sam lines. Let me guess. Silver Wolf came up with the lines. Blade came up with the movements and Kaka put them together. Huh? That sounds a little too professional for us. <laughs> yeah, well, speaking of professional, mm. I think it's time we took a look at what this young lady can do in her combat mech. I'm a fire type character following the path of destruction. When using my technique during exploration, I summon my Sam armor. Huh. Sam can leap into the air. After landing, Sam attacks all enemies within a set range. Quite the heroic mm. and Whoa. After using technique to enter battle, for every wave of enemies, weaknesses can be inflicted on units without fire weakness, which lasts for a set number of turns. In battle, Sam has two forms. In the initial form, using skill consumes HP, while simultaneously regenerating... Okay, got another freeze there, but uh, now let's continue. Let's go back a little bit. Sam has two forms. In the initial form, using skill consumes HP while simultaneously regenerating ultimate energy. The lower the HP, the less. But yeah, as I was saying, I really hope I don't lose the 50 50. I got. Sa uh, I, I got Robin. Guaranteed. Uh, now. Yeah, I really hope I don't get. Uh, Acheron 2.0. I ended up missing out on Acheron because I lost the 50 50. And I don't usually lose the 50 50, so I would like to believe that I won this time around. I mean, I got Chlorine in Genshin, and uh, that was uh, 50 51. So, yeah, I'm hoping. Damage sustained. Hmm. Are all Stellaron hunters this careless with their lives? <laughs> when using ultimate, Sam enters the second battle form, the dazzling complete combustion state. In addition to more powerful basic attacks and skills, speed is also increased. Hmm. When using enhanced abilities, Sam's weakness break efficiency and weakness break damage sustained by enemies both increase. Sam restores HP with each attack. So, the complete combustion state allows us to get a glimpse of Firefly's view from the mech? That's a determined gaze if oh. I ever saw one. 
Enough to set the seas ablaze, I'll wager. That's so awesome! <laughs> I wanna set the seas ablaze! <laughs> Thanks! The complete combustion state's enhanced skill not only allow us for increased toughness reduction, it can also inflict fire weakness on target enemies. The flames that Sam emits when breaking the enemy's weakness are quite spectacular. And He's like an, ar an arcade maker. Bar. That's right! When the countdown is up, Sam will exit the complete combustion state. It seems like the effects of Firefly's abilities all relate to weakness break. I suppose it would make most sense for Firefly to team up with allies <coughs> who have weakness break efficiency buffs, <coughs> or even super break. Mm-hmm, that's right. For example, the Harmony Trailblazer. Mm. Oh. oh. <laughs> what a wonderful coincidence. In version 2.2, the Trailblazer inherited the Watchmaker's legacy and embarked on the brand new Path of Harmony. <laughs> The spirit of trailblazing, traversing unprecedented distances to go where none have gone before. But that's what it's all about. Bringing the will of the trailblaze to more and more people. And on that note, I've got some good news for y'all. After activating the Harmony Trailblazer following the version 2.3 update, trailblazers can obtain a shadow of harmony through thee when Charmony rings out event screen, thereby oh. upgrading the trailblazer's Eidolon level. And if I haven't had time to experience Pentacone yet? Don't worry. After locking the Path of Preservation, Trailblazers yet to complete the version 2.2 Trailblaze mission can activate the Path of Harmony early through the When Charmony Rings Out event screen. <laughs> <laughs> I hope the will of the Trailblaze reaches everyone on this journey. Well said. Uh. Now, without further ado, it's time we got to know a certain highly respected IPC director a little better. Enter Madam J. Okay, no more speed. Jade is a director of the IPC's Strategic Investment Department and a member of the Ten Stone Arts. She is as beautiful as she is elegant, and the upcoming Radiant Felspar discussions are an opportunity for her to showcase her true skills. In contrast with Topaz's negotiation <coughs> abilities and the Venturine's daredevil spirit, I prefer to operate behind the scenes, mm. using emergency measures to reap a full harvest. When the opportunity arises. It feels like making a deal with Jade is a risky proposition. If you ever let your guard down even a little bit, you'll never escape her trap no matter how hard you struggle. I think the term you're looking for is femme fatale. <laughs> I like the sound yeah. of that. Mm-hmm. And Jade also has a hobby by the name of Bonna Jade Exchange. A pawn shop, essentially. Though it kind of sounds like a fine dining experience with you on the menu. One swish of the contract and the customer is eight billion credits out of pocket. <laughs> Watch oh. your step, Trailblazers. Jade's goal always aligns with her own interests. She plays the long game, wetting her customer's appetite while extracting a suitable price. She first draws her customers into a vortex of desire, then bounces where they're most valuable, leaving nothing but an empty shell of despair. <laughs> Why is everyone staring at me? Albert, didn't you just sign an agreement with Jade over the special huh. program budget? Hmm. What? I Oh, second. <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> so what exactly happens to people who sign agreements with Jade? Patience, patience. Why don't we let the combat do the talking? As a quantum type character following the path of erudition, my basic attack deals blast damage to a single enemy and adjacent targets. A blast damage dealing basic attack? Exactly that. My skill, on the other hand, allows me to sign an agreement with a single ally, thereby granting them enhancement and speed boost buffs. When the signee attacks the enemy, uh, Okay, another free save, and let's, let's continue. They can deal additional damage, but at the...
expense of consuming their own HP. Enhancement oh. in exchange for HP. <laughs> Is that what people mean by bestowing poison in the guise of sweet dew? <laughs> now, of course, if I choose myself as the signee, the speed boost and HP consumption effects do not apply. When I or a signee launch an attack, it accumulates charges for me. When charges are full, a follow-up attack is launched. The IPCs sure enjoy a follow-up attack. Hmm. It seems that the Strategic Investment Department has its own modus operandi. My ultimate, on the other hand, allows me to mete out punishment in accordance with the agreement. In addition to dealing damage to all enemies, my follow-up attack is enhanced. If there's a place that's closest to a dream, then are the punish destined for the place that's furthest from it? Like, an abyss? <laughs> you don't think those places might be one and the same? When using my technique during exploration, enemies within a set range enter the blind fealty state and will refrain from attacking me. After attacking an enemy inflicted with blind fealty, other enemies in the state will enter the battle, with all enemies sustaining damage. Just a single oh. sheet of paper. <laughs> Signing away control of your life to others is all too easy. Oh, poor Owlbert. He might be doing Jade in the IPC's well. bidding for a few decades more than anticipated. Wakey wakey. I don't take kindly to procrastination during working hours. <laughs> How are you feeling, Albert? You won't be retiring anytime soon. But then, neither will your program. Silver Linage? <laughs> Why do I still feel like I'm working for nothing? I wouldn't trouble yourself with that question. Why don't we talk about the version 2.3 banner instead? Ooh, great idea. And version 2.3's first half will prevent troubles can acquire mm. the limited five star character Firefly as well as the limited five star character Ron May. In addition, the drop rates for the limited five-star light cone, whereabouts your dreams rest, as well as a limited light cone pass up and mirror, will be boosted. Ah, oh, hmm. Miss Firefly. She must yearn for the world beyond the cold confines of her surroundings. Faint lights flickering in the midst of a dark forest. Meanwhile, in 2.3's second half will prevent, Trailblazers can acquire the limited five-star character Jade and our resident Night of Beauty, Argenti, will also be joining the lineup. In addition, the drop rates for the limited five-star light cone, yet hope is prices as well as a light cone, an instant bubble. <sighs> yet hope is priceless. Huh. Is that hinting at, uh, at Jade having a softer side? I mean, that's, that's every character. No, no character is, uh, that seems bad in initially. It's actually gonna be bad. Four keys will be boosted. <laughs> so, even the fiercest of executives has a gentle side. Who isn't moved by the laughter of children? Wait. Even the fierce own an instant before keys will be boosted. <laughs> so, even the fiercest of executives has a gentle side. Who isn't moved by the laughter of children? My heart isn't actually made of stone, you know. And finally, the Ooh. brand new four star light cone after the Charmony Fall will also be joining the war. I wonder where Mr. Sunday is right now. Uh, I think we all need a glass of soul later. But no good anywhere, Trailblazers. After the break, we'll be talking 2.3 events. <sighs> right into version 2.3. Welcome back, dear viewers. Let's duck right into version 2.3's brand new events. First up, a significant update to the simulated universe. Oh. Yeah, so exciting. Did Mr. Scroolum and Dr. Ratio devise a new project? You guessed it. Led by Mr. Scroolum, Divergent Universe, the Human Comedy, is a brand new project. Human yeah, Comedy. Up until now, the aim of the simulated universe has been to research the stories of the eons. I'm assuming that the Human Comedy has more of a human focus? Bingo! That's the main research thrust of this phase of the simulated universe. Oh. Looks like this project will be conducted on the Radiant Feldspar. Minga number two, let me tell you a little more about it. First up, a groundbreaking update to the Divergent Universe, the arithmetic mapping function. In the Divergent Universe, Trailblazers can switch between characters they already oh. possess. Huh, so they can create their own lineups? Precisely. Oh, that's... That's very Persona-like. Persona 5-like. Persona huh. Most definitely is uh, some kind of tribute or reference to that.
Okay, I had another freeze there, but as I was saying, yeah, this is very personal. Like, Persona 5, like, so well, I guess Atlas, like, so yeah, this has to be some kind of tribute or reference. When testing the Divergent Universe, Trailblazers will no longer <coughs> be limited by character downloads. When character level is lower than the current equilibrium level cap, it will automatically increase to meet the cap. Meaning, if one of my characters is level one, but I use them in the Divergent Universe, it huh. increases to a set level. You got it. So handy! But what if a character has a level but no suitable relics or light cones? <laughs> Were it not, in that situation, temporary light cones and relics at the current equilibrium level cap will be automatically assigned. I like when things are automatic. Ain't it great? Oh. Now we mustn't overlook Dr. Ratio's new brainwave. Equation, a buff combination of two different paths. Before the start of every test, Trailblazers have the opportunity to select a random equation. And for the equation to take effect, you'll need different amounts of path blessings. Once the required amount has been achieved, the equation will activate, and the team can obtain the corresponding combat abilities. Equation has a max of three stars. I see. So the higher an equation's star level, the more blessings are needed to activate it? You nailed it. And to speed things up, the geniuses have kindly marked the required path blessings for each equation in Trailblazers' position. Knowing which blessings can activate an equation is easy as I'm high. not understanding. That's so considerate. If you're ever struggling to choose, just follow the mark. Adapting your choices to suit your equation allows you to cater the effects to your current team. Mm, it works both ways. You could adjust your team's composition to better suit your current equation. I want to see Trailblazers mix and match it. So, if I accidentally chose an unsuitable blessing, or if I want to switch my current equation, can I make a change? Of course! By visiting the workbench of creation, Trailblazers can overwrite their existing equation and switch it out for another. Unwanted blessings can also be switched out for uh. other blessings, or even enhanced. Huh? Has the Curio store added more purchasable items? Oh, am I hallucinating? Did Madame Herta really lower the prices? The Curio system has been upgraded. In addition to normal Curios, Trailblazers can also choose from weighted Curios. These Curios are more suited to characters of specific paths oh. or types, and really elevate the combat experience. <laughs> Keep your eyes peeled, Trailblazers. Separately, we should also take a look at the wealth and escapade domains of the Divergent Universe. Trailblazers can win different prizes in these domains by spending Cosmic Fragments. But beware, in the event of a program error, your Cosmic Fragments could be wasted, or even land you with negative curios. Sometimes the same starting point can lead to very different outcomes. Luck <coughs> is an important component. It sure is. Now, allow me to introduce an impressive optimization that left a big impression on your buddy Albert. When suffering mm. defeat in the simulated universe, Trailblazers no longer need to force stop the game. Divergent Universe combat now allows... Okay guys, to give me a second. Trailblazers can... Okay, let's continue. Select a new lineup. Oh, I've always wanted that function. After completing each test in the Divergent Universe, Trailblazers can acquire synchronicity points and inspiration, allowing them to activate the buff nodes and inspiration circuits. Testing the simulated universe just got a little bit easier. Thanks for all the info, Albert. It's just... Didn't you forget something important? What about the planar ornaments? <laughs> I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> the planar ornament extraction function mm. has arrived. Every time Trailblazers clear the Divergent Universe, they can choose to save a record of that challenge and archive the data of the equation, blessings, and curios in question. Choose the planar ornament you want, use the archive, inherit the data and buffs from the archive, challenge the boss enemy, and obtain immersion rewards. Huh? You mean, you can skip ahead? You just need to defeat the boss to get quick access to the planar ornaments? Are we sure this isn't some oh. cracked version of the simulated universe that Silverwolf put out there? <laughs> the last person to doubt the Genie Society lost 76 accounts. A brand new simulated universe. <laughs> Sounds worth a try. Hey, man. Wait. Out there. Shh, keep it down. The last person to doubt the Genie Society lost 76 accounts. A brand new huh. simulated universe. <laughs> Sounds worth a try. 
Hangman to that. <laughs> now, in version 2.3, the Divergent Universe will be adding two new planar ornaments, mm. Duran, Dynasty of Running Wolves, and Forge of the Kalpagni Lantern. Make sure to use the new planar ornament extraction function to get a hold of them. After experiencing ordinary extrapolation, the Divergent Universe will have a weekly cyclical extrapolation objective. By completing this weekly challenge, Trailblazers can obtain a first-time completion reward, as well as additional oh. synchronicity points. Not to mention, in order to celebrate the arrival of the Divergent Universe, Madam Herta has added the five-star erudition light cone Eternal Calculus to the store. Trailblazers who wish to redeem it better start reserving some Herta bonds. It sounds like the level of freedom in the Divergent Universe is really high. Faster access to planar ornaments, full choice of characters. Those are some big gameplay improvements. Big improvements indeed. In the vastness of the universe, the eons are beyond our reach. Humanity mm. must learn to rise from its falls and strike its own path. When gazing up at the stars, it's important to keep your feet planted firmly on the ground. The stories in Divergent Universe, the human comedy, may seem small, but that does not make them insignificant. Trailblazers, get exploring. I can't wait to experience those stories. It's a chance for us to find out more about ourselves. I look forward to the memories. <laughs> Any room for a non-human companion? <laughs> Aside from all this, in Penacone's Dreamscape sales store, a deal has been struck with a member of the mysterious Creed Exequia. They wish to seek traces of the shapeless prince in the experiences of your deadly struggles. Unlock the brand new permanent challenge mode, Apocalyptic Shadow, in Dream Flux Reef, and experience those past oh. dreamscapes. Creed Exequia. Is this the first appearance of this faction of the Finality? Not necessarily. Oh, wait, wait, wait. In Dream Flux Reef, and experience those past dreamscapes. Creed Exequi. Is this the first appearance of this faction of the Finality? Not necessarily. Faction of the Finality. Challenge mode? So what's different? In Apocalyptic Shadow, Trailblazers will challenge boss enemies that they have encountered in their journey. Every phase has two enemies, which are split into four levels of challenge difficulty. The enemies in Apocalyptic Shadow has two enemies. Is that the Finality in the back? Hmm. Huh which are split into four levels of challenge difficulty. The enemies in Apocalyptic Shadow are a little different to regular boss enemies. Okay. Another freeze there. Let's keep going. It's into four levels of challenge difficulty. The enemies in Apocalyptic Shadow are a little different to regular boss enemies. In preparation for the fight, Trailblazers can read the enemy's traits at the start of the battle. As with other permanent game modes, during the challenge, there are buff effects for Trailblazers to choose from for every boss. Make sure you maximize the advantages of your lineup. Defeating oh. enemies through team adjustments or by exploring different battle strategies makes for a richer combat experience. Trailblazers can record a maximum of three floors of three-star quick clearances. That's right. And after the first time clearance of Apocalyptic Shadows set difficulty, Trailblazers can obtain the four-star character Shuei oh, as well as 300 nice. color jades and self-modeling resin. <laughs> nice! We're just getting warmed up. Let's take a look at the permanent game mode rotating schedule. The first phase of the Apocalyptic Shadow Challenge will launch on the day of the version 2.3 update and last for six weeks. Every version will rotationally update according to the following sequence. Apocalyptic Shadow, Pure Fiction, Forgotten Hall just as before. On every other Monday, the permanent challenge stage is replaced. 
Related system functions have also been optimized. When entering the three permanent game mode screens from the Interastral Peace Handbook, aside from being able to see the challenge lineups of their friends, Trailblazers can also easily check the star level progress of their current challenge. Oh. On the permanent game mode preparation screen, Trailblazers can use preset lineups to create their team, and even customize with drag and drop. How thoughtful. Mm-hmm. Now let's oh. talk rewards, shall we? By clearing a phase of Apocalyptic Shadow, Trailblazers can earn a maximum of 720 stellar jades. 720? You might want to take another look at our agreement, Albert. Huh? The maximum number of stellar jades awarded in each phase of the Forgotten Hall, Pure Fiction, and Apocalyptic Shadow permanent challenges is increasing from 720 to 800, and the budgetary increase will be funded through Albert's salary? Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> it's like I said, making a deal with Jade is a risky proposition. <laughs> well then, following this change, Trailblazers can now obtain a total of 2,000 and 400 stellar jades through the permanent challenges in each version. Then why do I hear quiet weeping? <laughs> I don't think Owlbird's seeing the bright side. <laughs> Keep it together, Albert. <laughs> now. Mm. In the upcoming version, the origami birds also venture into the Radiant Veld Spa. Bring with them a little game. Here's hoping Trailblazers can help to test it out. An arcade game? Huh, let me give Silverwolf a call. These origami oh. birds are very endearing, but... Why do I have a sense of deja vu? <laughs> this arcade game, Trailblazers need to cause elimination within a specified number oh. of steps in order to increase the bird's combat power. Before the end of every turn, corresponding damage is calculated according to the difference in combat values. Can they cross? If returns to zero, like my bank account, victory is sealed. This gameplay. Could it really be? The legendary. I never thought the day would come when I could play match three on a Pentaconian airship. <laughs> <laughs> In the Origami Bird Class event, Trail Bitches can also do battle freely with friends from across the universe. Can I fight Silverwolf? Of course. Be they old oh. buddies or gaming acquaintances, all can connect and play. Get tested. Mm. Great. The next event is called Stellar Shimmer. Does that name ring any bells? Is Firefly is, is that that Stella friendly Flair. with Silverwolf? Is this the sequel? You're a sharp one, Miss Zacharon. Stellar Shimmer brings with it lots of brand new challenge mechanisms and trial character lineups. Catering your team to suit the mechanisms oh. is the key to victory. These mechanisms. Care to divulge a little more? Well, for example, in certain stages, breaking an enemy's weakness can grant you an extra action. In other stages, characters enjoy unlimited revivals and can regenerate 50% of their energy. Does that mean Trailblazers can try doing away with survivability units and focus purely on damage output lineups? Okay, another freeze there. Let's keep going. Mm -hmm. Defeat as many waves of enemies as possible in a set number of cycles to complete the challenge and obtain rewards. Events. Oh. Took another breather. Don't go anywhere. More fascinating updates on version 2.3 are right around the corner. <laughs> Rilling tradition. Gift, Gift of Odyssey. Odyssey. Check in for 10 Okay, there's a uh, free temple. There's also version 2.3's double events. Our good friends, Planar Fisher and Realm of the Syringe. 
double planar ornaments and materials? What's not to love? <sighs> also in this version are the newly added cavern relics, Iron Cavalry against the Scourge, and the Wind Soaring Valors. Trailblazers can oh. for the Cavern of Corrosion, Path of Cavalier Challenge to obtain them. More lore. Mm -hmm. And let's not forget the new Path of Erudition Trace materials that'll be added to the brand new Calyxes, Rough Sketch, Dynamic Outlining, and Exquisite Colored Draft. More relic lore. For Trailblazers lore. who wish to level up traces for me, these materials are indispensable. So many updates! Man, I can't wait for this version to drop! <sighs> and we're at the end of the version 2.3 special program. And it's about time we bade farewell to this white knight. Thanks again for everyone's support and viewership. I eagerly await the version 2.3 story. Here's hoping the Pentacony discussions make for smooth sailing. Please, Trailblazers, do support the work of the IPC. I'm looking forward to the brand new Divergent Universe, not to mention all those brilliant <laughs> events. Don't forget to try them out. Hmm. Um, in that case, see you in the next stream, Trailblazers. I'll be waiting for you at the usual spot. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <sighs> what the heck is written in this thing anyway? That's it. That's it. I made it. What am I? I got talk to them. They're here to read our virgin name. They're too afraid to read out for themselves. Uh, and not to mention the brother. Read our virgin name. They're too afraid to read out for themselves. Talk to them. They're here to read our virgin name. They're too afraid to read out for themselves. Uh, and not to mention the brother. All these years, working my tail for this opera, the RPC, and even the audience thinks I'm an intern. <laughs> RPC. <laughs> they're here to read our virgin name. They're too afraid to read out for themselves. Uh, and not to mention the brother. All these years, working my tail for this opera, the RPC, and even the audience thinks I'm an intern. <laughs> <laughs> Salary to fund the stellar change budget for the new affairs. The affairs are <laughs> You two, get out of here. Ha! Tell that to Sunday. <laughs> I don't think, I don't know if the audience will get the joke. Get out of here. Ciao, Yetika. Oh, yeah, Mr. Albert. We are, we'll be giving you seven days of paid time off ASAP. Ha! Tell that to Sunday. <laughs> now listen up. The three years are up. I quit. If you didn't know already, I got an offer from the CN Joe to host the war dance. Ha! Uh. Tell that to Sunday. Now listen up. The three years are up. I quit. If you didn't know already, I huh. got an offer from the CN Joe to host the war dance. Albert's about to become a big time sports anchor. <laughs> you can get that on your knees and beg for all I care. It won't make any difference. Huh. What? I actually. The war dance offer. And the seven days of paid time off I mentioned. They're the same thing. Huh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Okay, let's see. Welcome to the most important event in the Zienjo calendar, the War Dance. The opening session oh. is right around the corner. Here, you will witness members from all Zienjo delegations vying for supremacy in the Luminary Combat Arts Ceremony. First up, put your hand. Okay, that should be the last.
phrase of the of this video but let's uh let's let's continue and together for the Tianzhou Yao Ching delegation fierce and swift is Fei Xiao the Merlin's claw oh we're gonna get to meet Fei Xiao the Merlin's claw huh oh, nice Seems to be a Foxian, a Foxian girl with a gun blade. It looks like a gun blade to me. And by his side, <laughs> he doesn't drink plain soup and has no time for coriander. Xiao he that's that's the that's the cook that appeared. Um, the the five star uh, Foxian male. It's the celebrated medicinal chef, Zhao Cho. What the heck did I just read? Up next, he's cold and silent as a haunting shadow. The Mode. Well, I like the design just by this. The crow feathered weirdo, Moza. And following close behind him is the Xianzhou Juming delegation. Strong and righteous is Huayan. Huayan. Hua. Huayan. That's supposed to be the Uhua. The flaming heart. But the silhouette looks a bit confusing from this image. Let's see if he, if he mentions the gender. The flaming heart, and now she strikes while the eye. Wait, flaming strong and righteous is Hawaiian. The flaming heart, yeah, <laughs> it's hard to tell. And that silhouette is definitely meant to be confusing. We're not supposed to uh, get it, even if it actually has some. Looking more similar to Fuqua later. And right now, it's uh, not gonna look that way. And now, she strikes while the iron is hot and forges while the flames are bright. Yeah, here's Yunli. one of the flame will octet, Yunli! <sighs> These are some wordy intros. And finally, the official host delegation has arrived. Let's okay. hear it for the Xianzhou Lao Fu. Please welcome, having suddenly returned home for the victory lap, is the new Alchemy Commission Cauldron Master, Ling Sha, oh. as well as an exceptionally gifted and legendary new sword master who shall remain anonymous for the time being. No wonder they needed me for this gig. Okay. Stay tuned for the upcoming Summer of Game Fest. Okay. Well, that's everything. The only thing I'm really interested in on this version is gonna be Firefly. Not really that interested in the other stuff. But yeah. I'm. Um, Interested in the in the in the Chainsaw stuff coming up next. Um, we're gonna get to meet a lot of new, new characters, and I really wanna find out whether the uh, Hua Yan is actually Hua or not. Or, or the, this universe is Hua or not? But yeah. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Uh, don't forget to subscribe or give a like. That would also help. Bye. Okay, uh, okay, that was the last race. So, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you.
enjoy my content or give a like that would also help. Take care. And as always, adios.